Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to make this simple, stylish fascinator. So please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like and share this video. Leave your comments down below. So let's get started. So the materials I'll be using are my trimmings, as you can see. The trimmings, needle and thread. I have my paint. My USU glue, these are some artificial butterfly, you can see. This is my crinoline, my felt fabric, and my hot glue. So let's get started. So the first thing I'll do, I'll measure out 50 inches. So I'll measure out 50 inches. And I'll cut it. So I'll get my USU glue and apply a little on this part, not too much. So I like to dry for some time. Then I'll take this part and just place it on top of this part with the glue. So I'll place it. So I'll take my needle and thread, then I'll run the gather stitch on this part. So I'm going to be gathering this part with my needle and thread. Be careful on this joint part. So I'll start from here. First of all, first of all, secure it. If you start drawing your gathers without securing it like this, it will pull out. So I'll first of all, secure it down like this. Okay, then I'll just draw the gathers. So this is what we have as you can see. So now I'll use my needle and thread, hold it like this, then I'm going to sew it down. So I'll sew it down like this. So this is what I have as you can see. This is the inner part and this is the back. So I'll sew this part down like this. Use my needle and thread to sew it down. Sew it down. So this is what I have. You can see. So this part that has the sewing, I'll be making this part the front. Then this part that is flat will be the back. So, so this part that has this part, I'll be fixing my trimmings like this. You can use your hot glue to just glue it down like this to cover up that rough edge and see. Or you use your needle and thread to sew it down. So I'll be using this, my felt fabric for, to cover up the back. So I'll just cut out a round shape. So this is what I have. This is what I have. I will cut double of this. If you have a thicker one, it's better because this is... You can also use cap or Alice band. So this is what I have. So I'll place... I'll use it to cover up this... The back of the fascinator like this. Like this. So I'll make a hole with my scissors, like this. I 
I'll pass the pin like this. So I'll pass the pin like this, as you can see. Then I'll, add, I'll, I'll put my glue on this part, then I'll glue it there. So I'll be gluing this part just to, to balance it up. So I'll glue it on this part. So the next thing we are going to do is to decorate it with the butterflies, as you can see. You can use your hot glue. Place your hot glue on this part and just glue it here. Or we'll use your needle and thread to just tack it down. I think needle and thread will be fine. So we'll be placing it at different part like this. So that is what is remaining to do at different location like this, just to beautify the fascinator. So I'll be using my needle and thread to tack it down. So you place it and you tack it down on this part. Just tack it down like this. You don't need to sew too much. Sew it like this, like this, then we'll sew it down, then we'll sew it up again, then we'll tie. You don't need to sew too much, then we'll, I'm going to cut, I'll cut the thread, then tie it on this part. So I'll do the same thing to the other butterflies. So this is the final look of the fascinator. This is the side.